Hey everybody, it's like your light shine here. I'm here at El Medina Park in the city of Orange. And I'll be honest, I've got nothing for you. I've been looking up all sorts of history or trying to find something about this park and I couldn't find anything. I don't know why. So at the end, I'm gonna go to my favorite job, uh, favorite site and do the uh, historic aerials. So, uh, but there is a plaque right here, so I'm gonna show it to you. So dedicated to recreational needs of the people of El Medina, the James Irvine Foundation, 1952. This park is actually pretty small. It's a big uh, baseball field right here, but other than this parking lot, it's just a, um, over there you'll see bathrooms and then like a picnic shelter thing and a playground and that's about it. And on the other side, there's a lake bed. And I found some geocaches over there at one time, but I looked at my app and there was no current geocaches in this area. Bum deal. Now I know that there is some history on the city of El Medina. I don't think there is a city or unincorporated thing called that now. Um, but I did do a vlog over at the Moreno's Mexican restaurant and it discussed that particular town. And they have an old church there still by the restaurant, which is actually a pretty cool um, place you can use for your venue for anything. Banquet, whatever, wedding, reception. So anyway, I'm going to show you back this way so you can see what I'm looking at. Okay, so yeah, if you cross that way, right there, you'll see this lake bed. It's all fenced. You can just walk around it. Nice little walk back to the old picnic grounds. Hi guys. What's up? What's up, you guys? Just doing a vlog about this park, even though I don't really have any information on it. I was wondering where you guys went. You guys are always. I know it's been a while. Well, I haven't. I I was due for a vlog, right? Boring or not, I kind of wanted to do one. So. Well, I think this will go into boring category. But you know what? Thank you for watching anyway. That's all but I'm gonna say. Yes. I want to show the cool barbecue pits though. Stay in tune because there might be a fun video coming up. Not saying. Don't get too excited, people. Don't but get too excited. There might be an actual fun video. Look at that. It's like a tree stump turned into a seating spot. <coughs> or not. Maybe it was just old, had some kind of disease, and they cut it. Let's just make stuff up today. How about that? Yeah. Well, I'm getting pretty hungry, so. Okay, so check out these. Let's go look oh, they're at even the putting out like a little soccer thing. That's cool. You can also park down this street here, all along Hughes is right here. Chapman Avenue is that way. Look at these cool, there's like three of them. Three of these right alongside each other. Never seen a barbecue that big. All right, and they're playing some music for this fun-filled church picnic that we're at. All right, so here I am on the street side. I wanted to check this out. I don't know what it is. I thought it might have had like a plaque or something, but I'm really like, oh, maybe it was something. It looks like it was something and it was torn down. All right. Now we're calling out for the old water balloon. Uh, fun toss thing. So we're going to be doing that and then heading on home. Apparently that's an elementary school over there. So still can't, uh, nobody knows anything about across the street either or whether it's even part of this park or not. Cause it looks like the street kind of split it right in half. So again, when I get home, I'm going to look at the historic aerial views and see what it looked like back then. So a quick little note. So the church, I don't want to film the people cause I don't think they really want to be in my video, but it's kind of cool. Um, it's like an open and affirming church. So I kind of like that they are accepting of everybody, which is pretty cool. 
Um, the funny thing is, as we're eating and doing a little picnic thing, they're playing like eagles and they were playing the Beatles earlier, Beach Boys. They're just playing regular music here. So I don't know, it's just different. Pretty cool though. All right, I hear them saying, get a partner. Are you gonna go get a partner? You? Not me, I don't wanna no, play. Them. Oh, you guys. Come on, guys. Be a partner. Yay, let's go let's play. Hold hands. Hold hands and hold be her hands. partner. And get splashed. Oh no. Oh yes. Alrighty then, I'm on the other side of the park now, on the very back end. Kind of weird. Wondering what the heck this stuff is. Here's a baseball field. We're doing some balloon toss now. And over here is the playground. So, yeah, some kind of dirt path. I'm gonna check it out. I see as I'm getting closer to it, it looks like it's for the baseball fields over here, or the baseball field. Bathrooms, maybe just a snack shack. Pretty nicely done baseball field, actually. Let's see what that is right there. There you are. I'm like, I can see you, but I can't get you on my camera. There. We're not that far from the uh, John Wayne Airport. Cool bleachers. Oh, okay. So this is just the bathrooms, but that one's a bigger one. So it must have something else going on over there a bit. Okay, this is only, huh, maybe it's a reserved seating or something. What the heck it is? Okay. Huh. I guess for the VIPs. Alrighty, everybody, we're home. I looked up the historic aerial maps off my phone, took some screenshots, and this is what you're gonna see. Um, you're gonna see it highlighted in the year on the left side, and then you'll see what it, the old pictures. And in, I noticed in 1946, you'll see the layout of the park, but not the park itself. So it's just like a dirt, I don't know, I guess it's just a dirt path. I don't know how they work this, but it just seems to take forever for something to actually be established. Um, by 1963, you will see a baseball field, um, the lake across the street is not happening yet, but the area is, is paved for something over there as well. And basically all it is over there is that lake now with a path around it. It's nothing else. 2003, you will see a path around this dry lake. And then by 2012, you'll finally start seeing a little lake. And that's, um, now they have it all gated off. So I don't know what's going on there. But absolutely no history that I could find on this place. It's just a park. So... There you go. Sometimes there's just no historic sites no. to be had. That's all. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And see you to my channel. Take productions. Bye. Bye.